Hi, Monroe Travel Baseball Coach Trish here and Tommy. We're bringing you your uh, fourth week of remote winter workouts. I've been getting some great feedback from uh, parents that kids are enjoying the workouts and you feel like they're really benefiting. That makes me so happy. I'm, I'm thrilled to hear that. And I hope you'll continue to do these workouts, even though today is our final week of posted videos. Um, you have, you will after today, have four different half hour workouts that are really comprehensive to improve your baseball performance and you can revisit any one of them at any time. So I would suggest going back to the first one, doing that for a week or two uh, or one or two times and then doing the second one again, the third one again. Today's workout is going to have some higher level um, Pilates exercises in them, um, but I would suggest rotating through. If at some point you feel like, oh gosh, I wish Coach Trish would post another video, feel free to send me an email. If I get a few emails saying that, you know, the, the boys want a new workout, I would be happy to put that together and post it as like a bonus um, workout. So uh, if there's um, any concerns or issues, questions, please feel free to email me or comment on this YouTube channel. So boys, at this point, this is the 10th week that you have been doing workouts with me, believe it or not. Uh, I know you're stronger, I know you're more mobile, I know you are ready to play baseball, and I hope we can get out there really soon. Um, what we're gonna do today is I, I'm gonna have you gather a couple of things, and I would like you to, um, after I'm done explaining this, actually stop the video, and then come back to me once you've gathered the necessary equipment. Um, you're gonna need for this workout a strap of some sort, uh, so this is a yoga strap, but if you don't have something like this, you can use a piece of rope, a um, long belt, a tie from your mom's robe, um, a, a, a towel if you don't really have anything else, but this is just a piece of um, uh, webbing that works really good for stretching your legs. So you're going to need that. You're going to also need three pounds. So you're going to have three cans of soup or beans or whatever you got, but 16 ounces is a pound, so you're gonna need three of these and then a grocery bag, all right? So we're gonna do something with those. So what I'd like you to do is um, go through your dynamic movement prep. I'm not gonna take the time to go through it. You guys should all know it by heart. So kind of a pop quiz. I want you to pause the video, go through the dynamic workout. You guys need to use this on your own before you um, go into any really athletic um, performance. So go ahead and pause the workout now and then come back to me as soon as you're done with it. All right, coming back to us. So uh, just a quick review to make sure that you didn't miss any. So you can start your dynamic warm up with a little bit of a jog. You can, um, I would recommend doing some jumping jacks, getting the heart pumping, getting the legs moving a little bit. Um, the ankle grab, Tommy will show you just one or two, the ankle grab with the knees next to each other. Make sure you're doing those. Make sure you're doing your knee hugs. So I'm running through them now so that you can check with yourself and say, did I miss anything? Because if you miss cradle, then you're, you, know, you risk injuring your hip when you go to play. Uh, Russian kicks, so remember these. Make sure you're doing those. Go ahead, Tommy, thank you. Good, do your Russian kicks. Lunge and lift. Did you do that one? Did you remember to do that one? Lunge and twist. So go ahead and bending the back knee, twisting side to side. Lateral lunge, coming into your side lunge each way. And that's right. Uh, inchworms, you guys remember those? Coming down, walking the hands out, walking the hands back. Did you do your inchworms? Did you do your sumo squats? Go ahead, Tom. Did you remember your Please sumo buddies. squats? Yeah. Sumo squats, frog squats, they're kind of the same thing. And then everybody always remembers the arm circles because those you've been doing since T-ball and then hug yourself, hug the world. So those are, that's the program I gave you guys. If you have more you want to add to it, feel free, but that's the basic. It should take you six, seven minutes really to warm up properly. And that should address most of the joints and major muscles in your body that you want to get prepared for play. Okay, so now we're going to get started with um, some seated Pilates exercises. So Tommy, you can come down to the mat and you're gonna sit up with your knees bent and your feet flat on the mat. Very good. So I'm gonna grab you the two cans. 
All right, here you go. So you can put those off to the side for the first one. You're going to sit up nice and tall, arms are straight out in front. Inhale nice and tall through your spine. Exhale, roll halfway back. Good, and then come forward, reach all the way to your ankles and oh, come. Should my legs be straight? Nope, they should be bent. And then reach all the way down to your ankles and just a little forward bend. Good, up nice and tall again. Arms straight out in front, exhale, roll down halfway. Inhale, coming forward. Good, one more. You can go a little further than that, Tommy. Get those abs engaged. Pull your belly button in. Make sure your feet are staying firmly on the ground. Last one. Great, now you can grab the cans, one in each hand. You're gonna come into the same motion, so keep your knees bent the same way. Arms are straight out in front. Roll halfway down. Good, now lift one arm up and bring it back down and lift the other arm up and bring it back down. So do you feel that your stomach muscles engaged? Perfect. And one more on each side. And then we're gonna add some um, opposite arm uh, leg lifts with this. So as his right arm lifts up, his left leg is going to lift up into that tabletop position, bend the knee. Yeah, just to there, and then put it down. Switch to the other leg. Good, and put it back down, alternating. Lean back a little further if you can, Tommy. <laughs> I'm making him work. I think he said he already did abs, but making him do more. So roll back even a little more if you can. At home, Tommy, you, you're okay. Good, and relax. Uh, now we're gonna roll down halfway with rotation. So arms out straight. Rotate to one side, roll halfway down, and now we're pumping the cans up and down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come all the way back up to sitting. Nice and tall, arms out in front. Rotate to the other side, roll halfway down, pump. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come forward. Go ahead and drop the cans down to the side. Bring the bottoms of your feet together. You're going to come into that little butterfly stretch. So feet are together. You're gonna to come forward into a nice stretch. And go ahead and let your head come down. Do you feel good stretch down your back? Yep. Good. One more breath here. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead and cr crisscross your legs. Face the camera so they can see what your arms do with this one. You're gonna crisscross your legs. Arms are coming out to the side. You're gonna go side bending up and over to one side. Your hand actually is gonna find the mat and you're gonna come up and over to one side. Feel the nice stretch down the side. He's gonna to wanna to anchor this hip down to the mat and not let it come up. And now come all the way back up and switch to the other side. You can put this hand down on the mat. Use this hand like a kickstand on your bicycle. So bend your elbow, let the kickstand bend a little because you'll get a little further. And he's doing a great job keeping his left hip down, so he's getting a nice stretch down his whole side body. Come back up. Let's do one more time each side, Tommy. Very good. Great, coming back to your mat, you can um, lay down with your head down that way. We're coming into chest lift. So knees are bent, hands are behind your head. Elbows are in your peripheral vision, good. So now you're gonna to inhale to prepare as you exhale, you're gonna lift your head and shoulders up off the mat. Good, inhale, return back down. Exhale, chest lift. Good, and then inhale to return. You got eight more. So here we go. And six, two more. Hold this one up, good. Bring one leg up into tabletop and the other leg up into tabletop, good. Now he's going to keep his knees bent and he's gonna lower them down towards the floor as far as he can go without losing control and then he's gonna bring them back up, keeping his head and shoulders off the whole time. Go ahead and lower and lift, good. If this is hard, don't make it very big, don't go that far. If you're, you okay? <laughs> a little, oh, he's already worked his abs, like I said. All right, so he's gonna pretend to, are you okay? Yeah. All right, do four more. One, and two, and three, and four. Very good. All right, so now you're gonna come into leg stretch. So go ahead and lay down flat on your back again. 
and go ahead and bring your foot into the strap, holding on with both hands. So this strap is long enough that um, he can hold on with his hands close to his body. You may need to reach up a little higher, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and bend your knee into your chest and then straighten it back up to the ceiling. Good, and bend and straighten. Very good, keep going. Two more. And hold the leg all the way up straight. Now you're gonna let your arms kind of lift away from the mat. Your whole leg is gonna come straight down to the mat and then you're gonna lift it straight back up for a nice hamstring stretch and maybe calf. Where do you feel it? Hamstring. Mostly. Hamstring, good. Should I pull mostly with my hands or like lift my leg up? So if you lift your leg up, you're gonna get more work in that hip flexor, which is a good strengthening exercise. So I would say use your hands as much as necessary. Try to lift the weight of your leg with your muscles but use your arms to kind of help. If it's really hard to lift your leg up, then pull harder. Great question. Last one. Good, hold it here. Straighten the other leg out. And now you're gonna take this leg without lifting your hip across your body until you feel a stretch on the outside of that leg. So his leg is coming to his opposite side. Do you feel a nice stretch? Good, and take one more breath there. And then bring your foot back up to the ceiling. And now you're gonna bring your leg out to the side and get a nice inner thigh groin stretch there. Good, do you feel a nice stretch there? Yep. Good, and bring it back up. Great, you can take your foot out of the strap. Yep. Um, bend your knee into your chest so you can keep the strap for the next leg. But first, go ahead and grab your right knee with your hands. And now you're gonna take that knee all the way over onto your side. So you're gonna let your hip lift up now. Yep, this arm's gonna come out, palm up, and you're actually gonna look away from your leg. Good, so he's in a full spine stretch now. Feels good, right? Nice stretch. Inhaling and exhaling, and then bring it back up. You're gonna switch and do the other leg with the strap. So go ahead and grab the strap and put it around your foot. Good, and keeping this knee bent, and then bend and straighten your knee. Go ahead and bend and straighten, good. If you're really flexible, like um, Nate O'Hara, this leg can be out straight, and that'll give you even more of a challenge. Go ahead and bend it for now. I know you're doing the workouts, guys. I'm happy about that. Last one. Good, keeping the leg nice and straight. Go ahead and reach it all the way long and then lift it all the way up. Very good, five times. Two, three, four, and five. Hold the leg up. Go ahead and use your hands as much as necessary, and then bring the leg across your body and feel a nice stretch there. Should the leg, leg be straight for this one? It can be, it's a little more aggressive if the leg is straight. So if you feel like you get a better stretch with your leg out straight, then do that. Then you're gonna bring it out to the side into that nice straddle stretch. You guys, these can be done every day, really. I know I, we've talked about this when we were at InSports, but you guys are growing so fast that your muscles sometimes get really tight because they haven't quite kept up with the length of your bones. And these stretches can be done with the strap every day. So maybe when you're done, uh, find something more permanent than your mom's belt to her robe and, <laughs> and make it a part of your daily routine and then bring that leg back up. And then you can uh, take your foot out of the strap, bend your knee, bring it into your chest. Yep. And now holding the leg with just the opposite arm, you're gonna lift the hip, rotate the whole back, look away from that leg. So you're looking at your outstretched arm. Tommy, I'm gonna have you also twist your arm palm up. Does that feel more of a stretch? No. Does it make a difference? I feel more of a stretch if I do palm up. So you guys can kind of play with that and see what your body needs. This leg is straight now. Good. Last breath there. 
and then bring it on in. Bring both knees into your chest and hug them. You're gonna make like a ball. This is called rolling like a ball. So your tummy's gonna roll back and forth a couple times. Two, it's fun. Nice little back massage. Last one, all the way up tall, legs out straight. We're gonna come into roll down. If any of these bother you, let me know and I'll switch. Okay. Okay, come forward a little bit. Arms straight out. This is actually a good example. None of these exercises should hurt. So if you're sore from doing something, another exercise, take a break, don't do them. So that's what I just told Tommy because he, he's already done quite a bit of a workout for his abdominals and now I'm asking him to demonstrate these. So and if, it, if it's sore and it doesn't feel good, I would say skip it and do something else. Go back to your stretches. Arms straight out in front, inhale to lengthen. Relax your shoulders a little bit. Exhale, roll down slowly, one vertebrae at a time, all the way down. Good, arms up, is that okay? Yeah. Good, inhale here. Exhale, arms come down, rolling back all the way up. Good, all the way nice and tall. You wanna keep doing them? Yeah. Okay, inhale nice and tall, arms out, rolling all the way down. Good, nice breath control, Tom. All the way up, exhale, use your breath. By exhaling, you're using your abdominal muscles to help you sit up. To come into a little bit of a forward stretch now. Oh yeah. All the boys have trouble with this. You guys all remember this. All the moaning and groaning in sports when I asked you to reach towards your toes. Last one, nice and tall. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, rolling down. I even missed the groans. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, roll it all the way back up. Good, now turn to just face the camera so they can see you. Tommy's gonna sit up nice and tall. If you have trouble sitting tall with your legs out straight like this, you can sit up on something. If you happen to have a yoga block in the house, that works, or just sit up on a, uh, a beach towel would work just fine. So separate your legs so you're kind of in a straddle. Nice and tall, arms out to the side. You're gonna relax your shoulders down your back, that's it. Good, so you're gonna twist towards one direction and pulse two times. Pulse one, two, back to the center. And then back to the center. So important, I, I worked a lot of rotational motions into today's workout. Um, we've talked about this, baseball has a lot of rotation in it. It's a rotational sport. So um, you need this motion to have the freedom to swing the bat. And last one, each side. Very good. All right, laying down back on your back with your head down this way. This is another ab series, so if, if you need to stop, just stop, okay? okay. Um, bring one knee up to your chest, and the other leg's gonna be out to 45 degrees. Whoop! <laughs> and then hold that leg out to 45 degrees. Now lift your head and shoulders off the mat. The modification, so if, if Tommy wanted to do this exercise and it, was, and it was hurting his abdominals, I would have him just keep his head and shoulders down. So that's the modification. So feel free to bring your head and shoulders down if it bothers you. Right from here, go ahead and switch. One, and switch, and switch, and switch, and three, and four, five, six, seven. He's exhaling as he's bringing his knee to his chest. Last one, hold here, hands behind your head. You're gonna keep your knee right where it is. Lift your head and shoulders up if you can. Nope. Okay, let me show you. Go ahead and swap out. So next you're gonna come into crisscross. So one knee to your chest, your hands behind your head. Lifting <laughs> your head and shoulders up. You're gonna to twist towards the knee that's up. And then you're gonna switch and twist this way. And switch. We're gonna slow these down a little bit. And switch. And exhaling as I lift and lift and lift and lift. Tommy, you gotta count for me now. Two more. One, two, and two. Each side, two. Good. Relax your head and shoulders. Now we're gonna bring your um, knees into your chest, lift your head and shoulders off the mat, holding your head in your hands. You're gonna extend your legs out to 45 degrees. Exhale, bring them back in. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, what am I on? Three. No, that was five. Six, yes. <laughs> I don't know. One, two, <laughs> eight, two. Yeah. nine, and 10. Relax all the way down. 
Inhale, take a little bit of a breather. Exhale, lift your head and shoulders. This time, grab your knees. Arms and legs are reaching away from each other. You're gonna reach your arms and legs away. Circle your arms around, grab your shins again. Inhale here, exhale to close. Inhale here, exhale to close. Inhale and exhale. Try to get those shoulder blades off the mat. Inhale, exhale, two more, and down. And last one, and down. Because I said today we have been progressing our exercises each week. I'm going to have you do a harder one now. <laughs> Since this is the last one, guys, bring your legs up to tabletop. Straighten them all the way up to the ceiling. We're going to bring your hands behind your head and lift your head and shoulders off the mat. Now we're going to scissor your legs. So you're going to scissor your legs up and down. One, two, exhale. Three, we're going fast. I know you feel the hamstrings. I know you feel the abs. Six. Thank you. Seven. Eight. Nine. nine and ten. ten. Good. I think that's all I had. Let's check. Double leg stretch. Yeah, we did it. Nice job. Tell me, tagging, you're up on all fours. Hands that way. Actually, no, I'm sorry. Let's do hands this way. Hands under your shoulders. Knees under your hips, so bring your knees in a little bit, good. So now Tommy's gonna take his right hand, uh, and so make sure that you use the hand further from the camera to start, just so that you can face through this one. This hand is gonna come under, it's called thread the needle. So he's threading the needle, and then he's gonna rotate and open his chest up to the opposite side. So he's gonna come under like a little tunnel, and all the way up, good. Trying to keep this as still as possible. As pelvis. Okay, go all the way to the top. That's okay. Do the, go as far as you can. Two more. One. And two. Switch and go the other way. So thread the needle. Lift it up. Nice, Tommy. Whoa. You have more motion on this side, huh? I do. I might do it on time. Got eight minutes. That's good. We can do this. Just five. I think you got one more. Good. Now you're going to come into child's pose with your knees apart and your feet are together. So you're going to sit back all the way. Arms are reaching out. So you're going to separate. This is the one where you're going to come into a nice stretch here. Then he's going to transfer his weight forward and come into spine extension. So he's going to reach forward, open his chest into an arch in his back. Pull your abs in a little bit more. There you go. Good. Now come all the way back into child's pose. It's a powerful exercise. We'll just do three. Good. Open. Nice. That's much better, Tommy. That was great. The first one, he kind of just fell all into his low back. This time, he did a nice even extension through his whole spine, which is perfect because he's keeping his abs in. That's great. Go ahead and turn onto your right side facing the camera. We're coming into side plank. Elbow is right under your shoulder. Hips are stacked. You're in a good position. So the tendency is to want to slump. Go ahead and slump. Yeah, we're not going to slump with this one. So go ahead and press your elbow down into the mat. Nice and tall. Good job. So now he's going to lift his hips up off the mat by pressing into his elbow and, and his feet. Good question. Let's put it on your hip. Go ahead and lift your hip up. One. Uh, keep your uh, knees down. I'm sorry. I didn't say that. Keep your knees down. One. Two. Two. Three, four, and five. Hold it out. Straighten the top leg out. Put it down on the mat. Now lift and lower your hips five times there. One, two, three. Nice job. Four, and five. You got one more in you? Yeah. Open your chest up a little bit more. Great. Bring your arm up to the ceiling. Hold it there. Lift the top leg up. One, two. Nice. Three, Four, five, you got five more? No. Ah, okay. <laughs> I appreciate your honesty. <laughs> All right, laying down on your side, arm under your head. You know why? It's perfect that I'm working out with Tommy because he's, you know, you guys are the same, similar in age to him and it's good to know what level you're working at. And um, you guys are high level athletes and I'm always pushing you to, to do your best. And um, I appreciate that you're doing this with me, Tommy. Bring your knees forward, bend them a little bit more. 
Good. Now, um, you're going to lift your top leg off the bottom leg. Go ahead and lift it up. The foot too. The whole leg. Yep. Right like that. Good. Now we're going to circle it. So hold the leg up and you're circling. One. The hip in the socket. Two. Three. Four. Five. Circle the other way. One. There you go. Two. Are you feeling it in this yeah. hip? Three. Four. Five. Now hold it. Now knee to knee. So bring your, you're going to lift your foot up. Knee comes to knee. Now lift your knee. Foot comes to foot. That's it. So we're rotating the hip in the socket. Knee to knee. Foot to foot. There's two and three. Good burn. Yep. Four. And last one. Five. Do you need a break before donkey kicks? Are you ready? No, I'm good. Okay. Knee to knee. Foot comes up and donkey kicks straight back behind you. Good. Knee to knee. Donkey kick back. So he's extending his leg back to me. Three, two more, four, and five. Go ahead and turn around the other way, Tommy, so we can do the other side. So you're going to put your head that way and face the camera. Side plank first. So elbow right under your shoulder. Yep. Knees are bent. Hips are stacked. Hands on your hip. Lifting your hips up off the mat, but keeping your knees down five times. Two, three, four, and five. Hold it out. Extend this leg out onto the mat. Toes touches. Now lift and lower your hips five times. One, two. So we're getting a lot with this, guys. We're getting shoulder stability. We're getting um, side body strengthening. And then last one, hold it up. Arm comes up to the ceiling. Lift the leg up five times. One, that's great. Two, three, four, and five. Good. Lay down all the way on your left side. Tuck your arm under your head like a pillow. Bend your knees in. So you're going to be about 90 degrees at your hip, 90 degree flexion at your knees. Lift the top leg off the bottom leg. You can bring your hand to your hip if you want. Good. Circling that leg around. About the size of a basketball. Two, three, four, Five, circle and go the other way. One, two, so just the hip is moving. Three, four, five, good. Take it down for a second. Now he's gonna do the knees together, toes together. So go ahead and lift that leg up, toes together, knees together. There's one, two, three. You'll notice you have one side that's harder than the other. This is your harder side, right? Mm -hmm. Four and five, good. Knee to knee, donkey kick out straight behind you. There's two, three, four. Point to where you're feeling it. Right here. Yeah, that's the spot. Five. Good. That's where you're going to get your power from. That's where you're going to get your strength and your, and your power and your hitting and your pitching and your throwing and your running. Such an important mu uh, muscle group. So now we're going to um, come to prone on el uh, a plank on elbows. Why don't you bring your head down this way? So find your plank. Tommy's good at planking here. Bring your shoulder blades together a little bit. Good. Now he's going to bend his knees. He's up on the balls of his feet. He's going to bend his knees, barely tap the mat, and then straighten them back up. Eight times. One, two, three. You okay? Four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's take a little break here. Go ahead and come down on your stomach. Stay up on your elbows. With your left hand, reach back and bend your left knee and grab your foot. And come into a little bit of a quad stretch here. Feel a good stretch there? Yeah. Yeah. This is a good little break because we're going to come into another plank, guys. And then go ahead and switch to the other leg. And feel the stretch there. Next one, you're coming into... Um, plank rainbow. So go ahead and tuck your toes, come into your plank. What he's going to do here is he's going to drop one hip towards the mat, and then he's going to arc his hips up and over to the other side. That's the rainbow as he twists back and forth. Two, three, four. You guys can do more. We're just going to do five for right now because I want to keep it to the 30 minutes. And then come all the way down, Tom. Great job. Uh, all right, let's come up to standing. We're almost done here. You can come to the back wall. You're going to put your two extra cans back 
in your stop and shop bag here and twist it up so they don't fall out. Holding on to that. You can, uh, let me move the mat for you, Tom. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna stand on one leg and you're gonna put the weight in your opposite leg that you're standing on, so you're right. You're gonna oh. hold it in the bent leg, all right? And now arm down by your side. You're gonna keep your balance, guys, it's not easy. Keep your balance and he's gonna lift the weights out to the side. There's three pounds in here. One, two, we're going for eight. Three, if you lose your balance, just come back to it. Four, five, six. So you, it, this looks like an arm exercise only, right? But what Tommy will tell you, what you're experiencing right now is you're feeling this left hip, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, good, shake it out. And then go ahead and switch to the other leg. Okay. Eight times there. It helps to, what Tommy's doing is he's spotting. It helps to look at something that's not moving. So throw your yoga strap down in front of you. So do you feel this more in the left arm or the right glute? Right glute. Yeah, that's what we're going for, really. The arm is a bonus. I'm looking to get that standing leg really strong. I think this is eight. Yep. Good, switch back to the other leg. We're coming into a little bit of a snatch move here. So he's going to bring the weights across his body into a diagonal and then up to a diagonal. It's not really a snatch, it's more of a diagonal movement, which is so good for the shoulder and that rotator cuff. Here's three. If you need to take a break, take a break. Four. Five. This is real, they're wobbling too. <laughs> We, we didn't cut and uh, shoot multiple uh, uh, sets here, yeah. Go ahead and switch to the other leg, Tom. One, good. Two, three. Balance is so important too. For hitting and pitching, what do you guys do every time before you get pitch that ball? You find that balance point, right? So that's exactly what Tommy's working here. So pitchers spend some extra time on this one. Do this workout a little bit more. Eight. If three pounds is too much, take a can out. That's what's so awesome about putting them in a bag. You can adjust it. Um, I definitely don't want you doing more than four pounds. None of you guys are fully grown and should not be doing any, any heavy weight. And I would consider five pounds and a lateral lift to be a heavy, heavy weight. So we're not gonna do that. Um, that's it for today. Don't forget to rotate through these four workouts that I've posted and keep in touch, guys. Have your parents if, um, send me an email if you guys need to talk about anything. Don't forget, I'm sure all your baseball coaches want me to remind you to get outside with your glove and your bat, take some swings, get the tee out. If you have a yard, you can do that in. Uh, ask a family member to have a catch. Believe me, they need it too. Parents and siblings need to get outside and play during this uh, social distancing. So Tommy and I maybe will go outside and have a catch. We already went for a bike ride. So uh, it was my pleasure to coach you guys this season. I wish you all the best. I hope to see you out in the field very soon. Be well, have fun, bye-bye.